the last couple of lectures we learned about hierarchical dependency injection in angular now in this lecture we are going to learn how to inject a service into another service and yes that is also possible we can inject a service into another service so let's understand with an example how to inject a service into another service and to understand that we are going to create a new service but before that let me go ahead and let me remove this console.log statement from here okay now let's go ahead and let's create a new service for that in the service folder i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to create a new service and i'm going to call this service logger service inside this logger service file let's go ahead and let's create and export a class and let's call that class logger service and inside this logger service class i'm going to create a single method and i'm going to call that method log message basically using this logger service we are going to log error messages or maybe information or something like that and in order to keep things simple we are going to log it in the developer console instead of logging it in a file or in a database we are simply going to log messages in the developer console for that let me go ahead and let me use console.log statement here and what i want is for this log message method i want to specify a name parameter and also the status parameter and in the console.log statement i'll use this back text so that we can use the template literal syntax here and here i will say a new user with name and then i'm going to use the name parameter so here i'm using the template literal syntax so this is a javascript feature it is not related to angular and then i will say with status and then i'll also use the status parameter here is added to user list okay so every time a new user gets added we want to log this message in the developer console now where are we adding the user we are adding the user inside this user service so in the user service we have this method called create user and in there we are adding a new user and what we want is once the user is added to the user list after that we want to call this log message method of this log service class and to do that what we will have to do is first we will have to instantiate this logger service class inside this user service and then on that instance we can call this log message method but as we learned earlier if i go ahead and if i instantiate this logger service class inside this user service explicitly for example if i go ahead and create a variable let's say logger new log service like this here we are instantiating this logger service class explicitly and on that instance we can simply go ahead and we can call log message method and there we need to pass value for name parameter so here i will pass name this name which we are going to receive for this create user method and then we are also going to pass the status so the status we are going to receive in the status parameter okay if i save the changes if we go to the web page let's go to this admin section let me open developer console let me clear everything here and if we go ahead and if we add a new user let's say john okay when i click on this create button a new user has been added and in here you will also see the message a new user with name john with status active is added to user list if i create some other user maybe mary if i change the gender to female subscription type to quarterly and let's say she is an active user when i click on this create button you will notice that another log message a new user with name mary with status active is added to user list and those users are also added here in the user list okay so this functionality is working as expected but here again we are explicitly creating an instance of this logger service class and in this way we are making this user service tightly coupled with this logger service class and this is not a good programming practice we have already seen that so what we want is instead of creating an instance of this logger service class explicitly we want angular to inject an instance of this logger service class inside this user service class for that we need to do three things so first of all i will go ahead and i will comment this line okay now 
we need to tell Angular how it needs to inject an instance of the logger service. For that, we are going to create a constructor. So after this user array, I'll specify a constructor here. And inside that constructor, we will create a parameter. And I'll simply call it as logger. And it is going to be of type logger service. And here, in front of this parameter, I'll use this private keyword so that behind the scenes, a private property called logger will be created. Okay, so this is the first step. Here we are telling Angular how to inject an instance of this logger service class inside this user service. So now Angular know how to inject the service, but we also need to tell Angular what to inject. Now, if you remember, when we inject something into a class, we use providers array in the metadata object of that class. For example, for a component, we use the metadata object of add component decorator. In the same way, for directives, we use metadata object of add directive decorator. And there, we specify the providers array. But we do not have any metadata object for the service, right? And it is just the way Angular works that we need to attach a metadata object to a class where we want to inject something. So if we want to inject something in a service class, we have a special metadata for it. And that is at injectable. So in this user service class, we want to inject a dependency. We want to inject something. So this class we need to decorate with at injectable. And in order to use this at injectable, we also need to import it from angular slash go. So at the top, let's go ahead and let's write this import statement. And what do we want to import? We want to import at injectable from at angular slash co. Okay. So this at injectable, it tells Angular that now something can be injected in this service class. And it's important to understand that we don't need to use this at injectable on the service which we want to inject. For example, here we want to inject this logger service, an instance of this logger service inside this user service. So we don't need to use this at injectable on the logger service. Because inside this logger service, we don't want to inject anything. We want to inject something inside the user service. So that's why on that service, we need to use this at injectable. Okay, so we need to use at injectable decorator on the service where we want to inject something, but not on the service which we want to inject. In simple terms, we can say that we use at injectable on the receiving service. In this case, the receiving service is this user service. It is this service inside which we want to receive an instance of logger service class. All right, so what we have done so far, we have created a constructor. We have decorated this user service with at injectable. Now we need to provide this service somewhere. And the best place to provide a service, as we learned in our last lecture, is the module class. So here, let's go to this app module.ts file. There we have this app module class, which is decorated with this ng module decorator and in there we have this providers array so here we also want to provide logger service and we know that when we provide a service on the module level same instance of that service is available throughout the angular application that means same instance will be available in all the components all the directives and also all the services so now since we are providing this logger service from the app module, an instance of this logger service will be available inside this user service class. And in order to use that instance, first we need to tell Angular how it needs to inject that instance. In this case, we want Angular to inject that instance using this constructor. We want it to inject an instance of this logger service class to this logger parameter. And since we want to inject something inside a service class, we need to decorate that service class with at injectable decorator. This is very important to understand. And in this way, inside this logger parameter, we will have an instance of logger service class. And since we have used a private keyword in front of it, behind the scenes, a private parameter called logger will be created. So here, we can access that logger property using this keyword. So here I can simply say this dot logger. And in this way, now we are not instantiating this logger service class explicitly. Instead, we are asking Angular to inject an instance of that logger service class and we are using that instance in order to access this log message method. So I can go ahead and I can remove this line of code from here. Okay, with this, if we save the changes, if we go to the web page and let's go to this admin section 
and there let's try to add a new user so let's say i add john his mail let's say he is using quarterly subscription and he's inactive when i click on this create user you see that user has been added and in here in the developer console we can also see the log message a new user with name john with status inactive is added to user list okay so the logging functionality is now working as expected so in this way we have injected an instance of logger service class inside this user service class now one important point to note here is that as i explained we don't need to use this at injectable decorator on the service which is not going to receive any other service but we need to use it on those services where we want to inject something and technically that is 100 percent true however in newer versions of angular it is recommended that we always add at injectable on all the services it technically makes no difference right now but in future it might so it's already a habit that you might get into that you add at injectable on all your services so what i will do is i will add this at injectable decorator on all the services which we have created i'm going to add this at injectable on this logger service also even though we are not going to receive any dependency inside this service but still we are going to decorate it with at injectable decorator and in order to use this at injectable decorator we also need to import it from angular slash go so let me go ahead and let me copy this import statement and let me go ahead and let me add it here okay and let's do the same thing for subscribe service as well so let me copy these two lines and let's go to subscribe service and there also let me go ahead and let me decorate this subscribe service with at injectable decorator and in order to use this at injectable decorator we need to import it from angular slash go all right so in order to inject a service inside another service we need to follow three steps in the first step we tell angular how to inject the service for that we are using the constructor and since we want to inject a dependency inside a service class on that service we need to use at injectable and then we also need to provide the service from somewhere currently we are providing that service from the app module but if you want you can also provide this service on the root component on the app component and in that way also it will work 